The blows are coming as Emmanuel pushes Christian to the corner, but Christian attacks back and drops punches, punches after punches and tries to close that down. That uh, gap he left by conceding those uh, blows to the face. Uh, certainly, this is one of the bouts that shows when push comes to shove, only the big boys will remain as these big boys are both throwing the punches, blow for blow, punch for punch, strength for strength, ability for ability. You get the feeling that uh, if this game doesn't open up earlier than expected, and would uh, surmise that the technical ability of both uh, boxers is uh, top notch. Uh, but then, uh, flurry or wild punches being thrown around. Emmanuel trying to ensure that the gap is uh, extremely close. But uh, Christian, who's got the longer reach, is trying to use that to his advantage. Christian once again tries the reach and drops two random punches. It doesn't hit his target and it dribbles his way past Emmanuel as Emmanuel tries to close in, preferring the long distance uh, boxing, Christian that is. Let's remind you that uh, this is the Lagos uh, Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, the event is the 33rd monthly boxing show. The two of uh, this 69 kg boxing bout uh, between Aboa Christian in red up against Adini Emmanuel uh, of uh, Blessed Boxing Club in the white uh, vest or the white strip and the blue headgear. Christian blessed uh, with the longer reach. He's trying to use that to his advantage as he tackles his opponent who's got the shorter reach and has been trying effortlessly to close down the existing uh, space. Emmanuel not taking anything for granted and obviously trying to impress the patrons of this event, the Lagos State Boxing Hall of Fame. It's an association with the Lagos Amateur Boxing Association, LABA. It's the 33rd monthly uh, boxing show taking place at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos State. The event is graced by his Honorable Commissioner of Youth, Sports and Social Development, Barrister Wahid Eniton Oshodi, the Lagos State Commissioner for Sports, We've also got the Secretary Lagos Amateur Boxing Association, Mr. Adesoye Adepute. An event, the Lagos State uh, Boxing Hall of Fame, is brought to you in association of, with the support of AFCA Printing and Publishing Corporation, Vintage Press Limited, the publishers of the Nation newspaper, Paramount Industry Limited, and the makers of um, Aquarite Table Water, and Honorable Wale Adeniji, he's the chairman Ikoyi Obalende LCDA, that's the local community development association. So you get the best of boxing in Lagos State. The best way to say the guys that we one day represent Nigeria in the top level nationally for boxing, where else to start there in the grassroots, and which state does it better than no other state is the Lagos State. So big kudos to the Lagos State government and uh, the Lagos State Boxing Association for putting together this monthly piece. Back to the boxing bouts as uh, Christian and Emmanuel still slug it out for supremacy. It is 69 kg boxing bout. Both boxers not trying to give hope down. They are both trying to keep the spirit alive as they look for the jugular in this boxing bout. Emmanuel obviously looking at the boxer who's got to close down the gap existing between both boxers. He's got the shorter reach compared to Christian, who's got the longer, but he's not made that a problem for him. He's been there holding his own. And here we go again. The bell finally ends the second round. Here we go for the third and final round of this 69 boxing kg between Abua Christian 
and his opponent, Adeni Emmanuel. So, since so far, it's been a closed encounter between both boxers as they try to use their strength to their advantage. Aboa still using his reach to drop punches, but uh, Emmanuel not letting his reach be a factor as he tries to close the gap to create the opening for his victory. He's getting support, uh, Emmanuel, that is, uh, from ringside. Show your jab, what I'm hearing. Jab here, yeah. go jab here, yeah. jab here. Yeah. That's what we're hearing. But I'm sure Christian is also hearing that and not giving uh, away his game plan as he also tries to seek the win. All right, and uh, dear Emmanuel tumbles, not from a punch, but because he missed the step. The referee sends them to their corners, tries to calm the game down, gives a warning to Christian, and uh, we are back again. Emmanuel closing Christian down, who just dribbled his way past. You get the sense that this tie or this bout to be a very close one to call for the judges. Both boxers have shown maturity. Both boxers have shown a technique. They've shown intelligence and a lot of experience as compared or compared to the previous bouts we've seen here today. And there we almost had it, Emmanuel almost closed Christian, but he used the miracle as usual to escape that close down. We still wait for that great uh, opening in this bout as both boxers are still sampling themselves for the space for supremacy. Emmanuel being, being all the closing because of the reach. Aboa Christian knows his reach. And there was almost wrestling, it was almost dragging. Uh, the referee calls it quick, but then that's the end of the bout. We await the judge's decision. It was a close fight between both boxers and only the judges decision will determine who wins. And here we get the judges decision on this boxing 69 KG bout between Christian Emmanuel and uh, and there you have it Abua Christian of the Paramount Boxing Club. He's the guy in the red vest or the red attire, a red outfit as you like to call it. Have it is the presentation of gifts and awards uh, to the awardees. And the awardees, as we await them, the winner, Abua Christian from Paramount Boxing Club. We await his presentation of gifts as he looks over to the camera to receive his award and recognition for a job well done. Here we go on this last and final bout of the 33rd monthly Lagos State Boxing Hall of Fame boxing competition. In our final boxing round, the 81 kg male category, Elijah Eniola in the red corner, putting on the red uh, vest and the headgear from Progressive Boxing Club, will be facing or is facing Muri Shango. He's in the black trunk and he's from Eleto Boxing Club.
straight out experience and technique. Another key thing in this boxing bout, as we've seen Eleto throw punches to his opponent, Enyola. But trust Enyola, no dulling. Enyola has returned punches to the midsection of his opponent, Shongo. But we wait to see how far this boxing bout goes. Remember, this boxing uh, Hall of Fame was brought to you by the Lagos State uh, Boxing Association in conjunction with the Lagos Amateur Boxing Association. And it's held uh, every month. We said last month, due to the Ramadan fast, there was a postponement. But now the boxers are done with their fast and are here to do boxing like it's done. Back to the ring. As both boxers, Shango and Eleto go for each other's jugular. The throwing punches. Eniola in the red corner from Progressive Boxing Club. Draws the flow of punches. His opponent, Muri Shango, he's from Eleto Boxing Club. He's been cautious. He's been watching and waiting for his opportunity. But then you only expect that uh, the bigger the size or the bigger the category, the more aggressive and the more technical these boxers will be. And there we stagger from both boxers as the true punches. And Yola drops one, but doesn't hit his mark. Shango still, Shango still watching his opponent as he receives punch after punch. He's waiting for his opponent. And there again, he almost got his opponent, and Yola. And here you get it, both boxers dropping punches to the mid section. And you're like, Shango, they're not going to take, they're not going to rest down for anyone. And you're like, get Shango to the corner and he raises punches, but then Shango is saved by the bell and the crowd acknowledges that as they raise their voice in appreciation of Enyola. We're back with round two. And here comes the start of round two in this 81 Cajun boxing bout between uh, Elijah and Yola in red up against Muri Shongo, who is putting on the black trunk. And this time, Shongo taking the attack early on as he drops uh, punches. But then Yola is not going to rest, and then he goes with his own punches, getting to the midsection. Obviously, uh, pound for pound boxers, no one wanting to relent or relax in this uh, grand finale or closing bout at the Teslim Balogun Stadium. Ever colorful. And here they go again. It's punch after punch. Space after space, all searching for the opener. And the referee calls the timeout. He sends Shango to his corner. And the crowd is going gaga. The crowd is going gaga. As Enyola rains punches on Shango. Shango narrowly escapes. Comes back with his attack, but Enyola not relenting. Pushing, still pushing really hard for the break.
the sighting to see how this boxing bout we go. A double flurry of punches from both guys. Songo seeming to be getting the edge on the drop, but Eniola not relents. He pushes him to the corner, and here comes the double of punches. Eniola receiving the punches from Shango. Shango pushes him back to the corner. It's punch after punch. And I feel he just lost the advantage. And Eniola trying to walk his way back into, or trying to gain his momentum back into this fight. He's not here to count the number of punches thrown at him. He's here to deliver his own amount of punches. Third and final round to know where we move. So far, so good. And the boxers are up and running once again. The 81 kg is a grand finale of the Lagos uh, Boxing Hall of Fame monthly show for the month of August. So if you missed out on the month of July, we've got another one coming in the month of September. Do stay tuned to us. Would we'll convey the venue and as well as excitement and passion for boxing. And back to the bout between Eniola in red and Songo. The crowd are going gaga, knowing this bout is going to the wire. Both boxers are looking really hungry. Both boxers are looking passionate for it. And both boxers are.